This is not a fairy tale. Come and play the game. If you want to take the tower on, you'll have to say his name. It's Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak. <laughs> Now it's off to the tower. You'll be up against each other. Sabotage the game, my friend, but do not blow your cover. I am waiting for you, kiddies. Who will take the rap? Because only one will escape, and the rest... <laughs> You're trapped! You lot, get packing! No, 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 no! Get packing! Come on, I need help! You see, hey, I'm off! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, when I say I'm off, I don't mean I stinks. That's just normal. No, I means I'm going. I've got the word from above. The voice has got a message for me. And I reckons she's going to set me free from the tower. Either that or the bog's needle blocking again. But no, by my calculatorings, I've caught enough unfortunate to go free on my travellings. I <laughs> love you. <laughs> right, so, bags is packed. I've cancelled the skunk smoke. I've dirtied up carpets. All done. Just one last batch of unfortunates to deal with. Ah! From a place called Burnley today. Now, the thing about Burnley is that I've never heard of it, but I know it's in China. Now, tell you what, <laughs> I'll make it the first place I visit tomorrow. <laughs> Shall we? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so up they come, another batch of unfortunates. If any of them aren't afraid of heights, then at least they will be afraid of what's in the tower. Look at that batch of cagelings. They get worse every time. <laughs> Harriet, she's got a hairy tongue. Uh, there's Declan, he can blow fire out of his nostrils. Jade, she used to be a hedgehog. Josh, secretly terrified of tiny kittens. Jessica, she's got a head full of jam. And William, he's married to a polar bear. This is my watch tank. From here, I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. Six unfortunates starts here at the top and works their way downwards. If they makes it out the bottom, they're home in time for tea and some cockroach crumble. But it's not that easy. To escape each floor, they have to complete a challenge together. But one of them cannot be trusted. The saboteur. <laughs> Treachery! The saboteur's job is to make sure they all fail the challenge. The voice chooses a new saboteur on each floor. You are the saboteur. And she talks to them secretly using the whisper clip, a cunning little device that goes right inside their noise hole, which means that she can be murmuring helpful, stinky little tips to them without the others hearing. If the team succeed, the saboteur will be trapped on that floor. If the team fail, it could be any one of them. In the end, only one will escape. The rest will be trapped. <laughs> Floor six, goblet of ice. For one of them, they'll be frozen here and their chance of freedom turn to slush. <laughs> to show you how it's done, here's Wily Snake, an unfortunate trapped a hundred years ago. In this challenge, Unfortunate must carry snow across the icy stepping stones and fill the goblet of ice. But it's not that easy. The stones are deadly slippery and there's a monstrous gale blowing. It's windier than a plate full of baked beans. What's more, if so much as a toe slips off them stepping stones, the goblet will tip up and empty out all the snow they've collected. So they'll have to start all over again. <laughs> Remember, not everyone will be trying to win. On each floor, there's always someone who can't be trusted. So, who is it this time? Don't look at me. It's up to the voice. It's time to pick the saboteur. Declan, do not react. You are the saboteur, and you're the only one who can hear my voice. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. 
You must make sure the Goblet of Ice is not full by the end of the challenge. There are many ways you can do this, including stalling time, spilling snow, and remember, treading on the ground triggers the tipping goblet. I will continue to guide you through your whisper clip. Jacqueline is the first saboteur! Ooh, this is the part I love's best. I know who it is, you know who it is, but the others don't. <laughs> Unfortunates, this is Goblet of Ice. To pass, you must fill the goblet. You have 90 seconds to do it. Let the challenge begin now. Okay, Declan, sabotage is all about being subtle. Remember, the goblet will empty every time someone touches the floor. Jade is having Jessica. trouble. You can look like you're finding it hard to and tip it out. There, well done, Declan. I think you got away with that one. The wind is really strong. You can pretend you have blown off the blocks. They're working well as a team. Stop that. Well done, Declan. They're doing too well. Put a stop to it. Watch out for William. He's filling it up quickly. You've emptied your bowl. Now empty the goblet. You'll get noticed by the others if you're too reckless. Ten, nine, eight. Not long seven, left. Six, I think you five, might do it. Four, three, two, one. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Ha! Looks like the challenge has been sabotaged. But has the saboteur been seen? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Harriet. I think it was Declan because he kept falling over onto the um, ice on the floor. Declan. Josh because he kept pushing me off the platforms. Jade. I think it was Declan because he kept falling off onto the ice and once it just like walked right across the ice. Josh. I thought it was Declan because he kept on skipping icebergs because somebody else was on them. Jessica. I think it was Declan because he was moving onto a platform, but then he just he pretended to slip, but he didn't, and then he put his foot on the floor. William. I th personally, I think it was Declan because he was just acting suspicious, and um, he said that Josh pushed him off the platform, and I think he said that just to cover himself. You have voted for Declan. The saboteur was, in fact... Declan. Declan, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. The saboteur's been trapped! Declan, why do you think the others voted for you? Because I wasn't very good at disguising myself being the saboteur. Poor, unfortunate Declan. You're trapped! Ah, every floor we trap one more. Declan was detected, so he's the first one trapped. Floor five. Deadly medley. This next floor is Boris's lair. He likes a nap more than I like trapping unfortunates. Meet Boris the organist. He's been trapped here for years. In this challenge, the unfortunates have got to make words using the musical notes A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Once they have thought of a word, they must place the letters on his music stand for Boris to play. Boris will like some words and not like others. To pass the challenge, unfortunates must spell three words Boris likes. If they spell three words he does not like, they will fail. Remember, one of them cannot be trusted. But who is it? 
Jessica, do not react. You are the saboteur. What the team do not know is that Boris does not like any words with the letter C in them. So you should try to use this letter as much as you can. Jessica is the next saboteur. The voice in her whisper clip will help her with stinky tips so she can sabotage the challenge. Unfortunates, this challenge is deadly medley. To pass, you must think of three words that Boris likes. Let the challenge begin now. Jessica, Jade is taking the lead with the first word. <laughs> Perfect. You and I know that Boris will hate that word. <laughs> He hates the letter C. Two more words with C in them won't do it. You could do feed. Yeah, feed. They've suggested feed. Try to change their minds. You need a C word. There's one down there. Yes, one there. You're not saying enough to persuade them, Jessica. Okay, you've let your team have that one, but they need to get a bad word next. Manipulate them! I think it might be a three-letter word, so if we put another four-letter word or a two-letter word or something in... Um, cage! Agree with Josh. Cage. That's got to see at the beginning. Yeah, that's a four-letter word. <coughs> Just there. Right, cage. Josh will look like the saboteur now. They're choosing the bad words by themselves. You're lucky, Jessica. I think we shouldn't put words beginning with C, because two, two words that are wrong. Josh has um, realised that C's might be well, bad. Words, Fix it. it. He doesn't like words with a C at the beginning. You see at the beginning, though, three little words. <laughs> Such as that C. Look that C there. Well done, it's Jessica. Josh. They still have a C in there, and it looked like you were helping them. But do they suspect you? Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Haha! <laughs> Looks like the saboteurs do it. But were they spotted? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Josh. I thought it was Harriet because she made a suggestion it was wrong. It was the first one. Jessica. I thought it was Josh because his face went all nervous and his face went all floppy. William. I think it was Josh because I thought he was acting really nervous. Harriet. I think it was Josh because he kept suggesting things that wouldn't work. Jade. I thought it was Josh because he was acting really nervous and he kept making suggestions that were wrong. You have voted for Josh. The saboteur was, in fact, Jessica, Josh, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh, made the team fail and got away with it. Perfect sabotage. <laughs> Josh, how do you feel about being trapped? I'm OK with it, because I've got Boris to keep me company. <clears throat> Poor, unfortunate Josh. You're trapped! Oh, some real bum notes there. Bad luck, Josh. Jessica was a real crafty one. Floor four, exploding toad in the hole. Let's see if they like this pet project. Ah, floor four is one of my favourite lunch spots. I was eating my lunch there earlier. Some nice lizard sandwiches. Ah, oh, here we are. The stinking bog. Best spot in the whole tower for a picnic and a breath of foul air. I dropped a bit of my lunch down the boggles earlier. So, in this challenge, the unfortunates have got to find it. Plunging their hands into the snarty boggles, the unfortunates will either find a bit of me lunch or an exploding toad. If they find three toads, they fail. Can they trust everyone on their team? Not likely. But who will it be? That's up to the voice. 
It's time to pick the saboteur. Harriet, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team finds the exploding toads. The toads are in all the holes marked with a sign that has lime green somewhere on it. Make the team find three toads to fail the challenge. News just in. Harriet is the next saboteur. She is not to be trusted. I know that, and you know that, but they don't. <laughs> Let the challenge begin now. It's your choice, Harriet. You can choose a toad on the first hole, or you can win their trust. Which one should I do, Harriet? Could I, should I try, um, maybe that one? Yeah. Should I try that one? What, um, yeah, yeah, try that one. yeah. Do you think we should try that one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well done. You've gained their trust, and in this game, that's important. But Jade needs to get a toad this time. What do you think I should go for? Um... What about, um, what about that one? Yeah, Bob. Bob, try, Bob, Bob. shall I try that? You sure? Yeah, try that Brilliant. One. It's a green one. Mm. Excellent. Oh. It's one all. Steer them to the lime oh. green signs, remember. Do you think danger? What about that one? What about that one over there somewhere? Do you think danger? Mm. But danger has got green on it. Agree with Jessica. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, try it. Brilliant. And you didn't even need to suggest it. Oh, no. That's two to you. You only need one that more toad. Which one shall we try? Make William get shall it. Shall we try that one? Uh, yeah. No, maybe try... What about whatever... Uh, what about... One. William needs to choose a lime green hole. Be convincing. I'm not sure. Because we've got to be careful. Shall we try that? be careful yeah. now, I don't know, because one more and... Shall we try that? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant, Harriet. Sure. He's going yeah. for a toad. <laughs> Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Ooh, you've got to be sneaky to sabotage successful like. Did the saboteur have what it takes? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. William. I think it was Jessica because she kept making suggestions and some of the suggestions she made were wrong. Harriet. I think it was William because he kept choosing bad holes. Jade. I think it was Jessica because all the suggestions she made had an exploding toad in it. Jessica. Who do you think the saboteur was, and why? I thought it was William, because he wasn't really talking that much, and his face was really nervous. The vote is a draw. You have voted for Jessica and William. Ah, it's a draw. What to do? Get out the draw straws. Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped. William, you have drawn the short straw and will therefore be the unlucky one. Oh, that was so tense. My eyes have swapped round. Look! The saboteur was, in fact... Harriet. William, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> William, how do you feel about being trapped? Well, obviously I'm a bit disappointed, but at least I've got some food in the holes. Poor, unfortunate William. You're trapped! Ha! Oh, it was a close call, but no one guessed Harriet was the saboteur. That's the last boy out. Girls are sneaky, aren't they? Floor three. Wicked wardrobes. Ah, you won't want to be going inside your wardrobe after this challenge. I haven't been inside my wardrobe for years. I put these clothes on in 1604. Might be due a wash soon. Pew. To pass, they must have all eight lights turned on at the end of 90 seconds. Once the lights are on, they must hide in their wardrobes. And wait. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Except 
one of them will be working against the others. When a light is turned off, it will trigger the music, a signal to the others that the saboteur has struck. Can they catch the saboteur in the act? And will they have all the lights on at the end of 90 seconds? You know the drill. Who will it be? Who will it be? Who will it be? <laughs> Don't ask me. It's up to the voice. Jade. Do not react. You are the saboteur. When the music stops, get into a wardrobe, but do not stay there. Use the silence to turn off one or more lights. Once you have turned a light off, you will have three seconds until the gramophone starts playing, so you'll have to be quick. No need to panic, though. I can guide you through this challenge. So, the next saboteur is Jade. If she remains undetected, Jade will be safe and just a flaw from freedom. But can she do it? Unfortunates, this challenge is wicked wardrobes. To pass, you must have all of the lights switched on at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin now. That's it, all the lights are on so you all get into your wardrobes. Right, Jade, I'll let you know when it's safe to come out. The coast is clear. Out you go. And it's that simple. Oh, confusion. What are they doing? This is fantastic. The girls have got completely confused. Just stay out of it, Jade. Come then. Stay there. Don't move. I think Harriet is peeping out. No, it's good. You can go. Quickly. It's safe to come out. Think about who you can frame. Brilliant! 30 seconds. Well done. I think Jessica's noticed that the light was off by Harriet's wardrobe. See if you can turn off the lights further away from you. Be brave if you want to sabotage this game. Ten seconds. Well done, but you don't have long left. That's all the lights on. You have passed. Therefore, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. Oh! Before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur is? Jade. I think it was Harriet because she was really nervous and I heard a door opening and closing. Jessica. I thought it was Harriet because she wasn't going around as quickly as I thought she was. Harriet. I thought it was Jade because I could hear a door opening next to me. You voted for Harriet. The saboteur was, in fact... Jade. Jade, although you were undetected, you have failed to sabotage the challenge, and therefore you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. So close, and yet so trapped! <laughs> Jade, why do you think you failed as the saboteur? Because I wasn't quick enough in switching off the lights and getting back into my wardrobe and I panicked. Poor, unfortunate Jade. You're trapped! Jade is done for. Floor two, one way out, and there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom! Let's hope the unfortunate has been paying attention. Now they have to fight for their freedom by answering questions about their time in the tower. They're both after the key of freedom. It's simple. Win and you'll escape. Lose and you'll be trapped. Ooh, I'm so excited. A little bit we came out. Unfortunates, this is your fight for freedom. The unfortunate with the most correct answers will be the winner. 
You have 60 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin now. Harriet, what was the name of the challenge played on the sixth floor? Too slow, goblet of ice. Jessica, how many bad words were played in Deadly Medley? Three. Correct. Harriet, who occupied the middle wardrobe in Wicked Wardrobes? Jade. Correct. Jessica, goblet of ice trapped which unfortunate? Declan. Correct. Harriet, in exploding toad in the hole, which unfortunate was first to find an exploding toad? Jade. Correct. Jessica, in Wicked Wardrobes, how many votes as saboteur did Jade get? One. Correct. Harriet, in Deadly Medley, which letter did Boris not like? The C. Correct. Jessica, what number was on the wall in Exploding Toad in the Hole? Four. Correct. Harriet, who was the saboteur in Deadly Medley? Um. Josh. Incorrect. Jessica. <laughs> Harriet and Jessica, your time is up. Jessica, you answered four questions correctly. Harriet, you answered three questions correctly. Jessica, you are the winner. Congratulations. Harriet, how do you feel about being trapped? Um, I don't feel so bad because I'm quite happy of how far I got to. Poor, unfortunate Harriet. You're trapped! Jessica, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. Tough luck. Try again next time. <laughs> Harriet trapped and Jessica released. Now it's my turn. It's time for my message from the voice. Caretaker. Poor caretaker. <laughs> That's me. I'm ready. I still need more unfortunates. You're still trapped. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, I wouldn't have liked it out there anyway. All that space. All that clean air. No, I'm happy here, thanks. I'll be, I'll be fine. And, and you, best scootle. You wouldn't want to be like me, would you? You wouldn't want to end up trapped. Thank you.